When word came Puerto Rico's embattled governor is stepping down, celebrations were felt far and wide, including here in New York, the largest Puerto Rican population outside the island. CBS in New York's Natalie Dudridge has the latest from East Harlem. Just because we're not on the island doesn't mean we have don't have opinions. Abigail Castillo lives in East Harlem, but still travels regularly to her native Puerto Rico, even going last week to take part in protests against Governor Ricardo Roseo, calling for him to resign. Last night, he announced he will. It's about time. I don't know what took him so long, all his excuses, but thank God he's out. The outrage started after Roseo sent a series of text messages to his inner circle that included homophobic comments and jokes about Hurricane Maria victims, even sexist slurs against former New York City Council Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito. She took to the streets of New York with hundreds of others over the last week at Union Square and Columbus Circle. Also protesting, another well-known Puerto Rican New Yorker, Hamilton creator Lin-Manuel Miranda. The rallies here were without incident, but some Puerto Ricans say protests on the island went too far. They can protest, but you don't have to burn stuff, you know, or attack the police. You know, the police weren't really advancing towards them, but, you know, I mean, people got mad. They just went out of control and they were tired because look what happened after the hurricane. Where's the money for that? Even before this scandal, many Puerto Ricans here at home say they were concerned about the island's economy and recovery after Hurricane Maria and say they hope the territory can turn a new leaf. They're suffering for food. They're suffering. The houses, they still broke. They haven't fixed. You know, and we feel it over here because we're from over there. And it's not good. Now it's time to uh, elect the next successor, which I think is Wanda Vasquez, and let's see if we can just start from there. A start many say will be a long process, but they're eager for a new chapter. In East Harlem, Natalie Dudridge, CBSN, New York.